Hi, this is Laura Turner, and today I'm going to talk with you about how to write an emergency response guide. Your emergency response guide is very important for your family or if you're in a company for your employees, um, and it should be very clearly marked um, and very clearly and very tightly bound um, so that it doesn't get messed up and we don't have, you know, problems when you're trying to open it. Um, because it, in most cases, whenever you open an emergency response guide, like this first aid handbook, you're going to want to be able to use it very easily. Um, and you're going to want to clearly mark uh, the different areas. Um, this is, of course, a little handbook. But if you have an actual guide, you might want to use tabs um, to show uh, where the different um, letters are. So you're going to want to put it in um, alphabetical order. So for example, if I wanted, if I'm bleeding, or if someone is bleeding, I want to know immediately how to take care of that problem. Um, so bleeding is right in the very beginning here of this first aid handbook. You know, uh, breathing stopped, artificial respiration. Um, these guys also contain, like here, we have a um, CPR actually uh, sort of illustrated out for us. Um, so that we can figure this out on the fly when we're, you know, calling 911 and we're waiting on them to get here. Okay. Um, so make sure you also put one in several different areas of the house or of the company so that you uh, have them at easy access for everyone. So that just in case something really horrible does happen, you will all be able to follow the uh, standard procedures for getting out of there. Um, include also the emergency phone numbers um, in your emergency guide. Um, Make sure that everybody knows who to call and when to call them. I remember it, when I was growing up in my house, my mom had those emergency numbers on the phone um, when we, you know, in the days of landline telephones. Um, and finally, make the text bold and clear in categories as well as alphabetical. Um, and make sure that um, everybody can ac access this thing because it really is extremely important. So that's how to create an emergency response guide.